Hello. I know, it's been a while. Video stuff got crazy. I just ran out of time. Wasn't able to get on the sticks as much as I wanted to, but today we're taking a look at the Odo DIY V2 kit. As you guys know, JLF's never really been my jam. Korean sticks with silicon grommets definitely has been my jam. This kit is pretty unique because it implies that same tensioning system on a Sanwo JLF. Is it something that's gonna bring me to a JLF? Is it gonna be equivalent to a Korean stick? I don't know. If you have those same questions, maybe I'll be able to answer that by the end of this video. I'm gonna show you guys how to put this thing together is really super simple and you know, talk about it just generally what the use case is who it may be for and that usual jib jive review kind of stuff for products that anybody else does out there and i'm not going to be like those tech tubers who build something tell you about it and then wait until the next video to show you the product actually in use so i hate that too trust me anyway thank you for joining me we're gonna roll that intro let's see how this goes For the V2 kit, you're still going to need JLF parts. You can either buy the parts separately. Uh, they do list what parts you actually need to put onto the V2 kit, or you can take apart your current one that's maybe in your fight stick, or you just have a JLF off to the side and you can use those parts. Now, there are plenty of videos out there showing how to take apart a JLF, so I'm gonna be really fast in this video. So we're gonna turn the JLF upside down, press the four plastic tabs to release the circle or square gate, whatever it is you have. Take that off and you see the micro switches. You're gonna put the micro switch in a different pile that you're gonna save to transfer over to the V2. Go ahead and look at the middle press down the actuator and slowly remove the e-clip you're going to put that on the micro switches as well and then slowly remove your hands from the actuator be careful because it is spring tension so it can shoot out if you did it correctly the joystick shaft should just fall out and put that with the micro switches as well make sure to grab the spring holder then flip it around to the top you're going to see the four screws go ahead and undo the four screws and put the mounting plate with the micro switches the joystick shaft the e-clip and the spring holder these are the parts that we're going to be transferring over to the v2 now the V2 kit comes with their own version of the JLF body, which is actually made out of Teflon. It's a lot stronger, a lot more durable material. They also provide you with two different gates. One is your traditional square gate and the other is a rounded gate. Now we can get onto the grommet system, which they provide two different grommets. One is softer than the other, which translates in how much tension you actually want on your joystick. Now to get this grommet system together, all you need to do is grab the only red piece, which is the pivot center, which the actual joystick shaft is going to go through. You just need to grab the grommet and go ahead and slide it over the pivot center it's pretty much going to lock into place once you get it there and that's pretty much it from here you can grab the body get the core set that's actually going to hold the grommet system in place and we can start putting it together now one of the cores are going to sit on the bottom of the grommet system and the other one's going to sit on the top now after making sure they're all nice and snug grab your mounting plate and grab these screws that actually come with the kit now they are Allen keys, so obviously they're not screws, so make sure you have the right tool and hold the nuts on the back side while you're screwing it in because they will fall out. We can now feed the joystick shaft through, and before I forget, go ahead and apply the grease that's actually supplied with the kit onto the top of the top hat before you put it on. And slide the spring holder on the opposite end. You can then slide on the spring, slide on the actuator of your choice. They do give you three with 0.5 millimeter increments. So now we can push down the actuator and slide the C-clip on, install the micro switches, then find which gate you want to put on the joystick and snap it into place and you're ready to go. I probably shouldn't have to tell you that it needs to go on your fight stick because I just assume it's already assumed it's gonna go in there. The first thing I wanna talk about are the actuators. They start off a little bit bigger than uh, stock Sanwa actuators. The first one's a 12 mil, and then you can bump up to a 12 and a half and a 13. So I would definitely say start off with the stock JLF uh, actuator and then work your way up because to see if it's if you're uh, more which one you're more comfortable with. So the V2 kit isn't trying to reinvent the wheel here. Refining a design that we're all accustomed to, which is the JLF, and bringing you a completely unique feeling. Now this is definitely one of those parts I would say try if you can. It will offer you a feeling unlike any other JLF out there, unless it has this V2 kit, of course. But I can see this is for if one of your friends had a Korean stick and you played on it and you like that Korean grommet kind of feel, this would definitely be the perfect middle ground for you. Um, I kind of can feel its similarities, but it's not to the point where I'm like, oh, I can close my eyes and this, this feels like a Korean stick. Of course, you can get a true circle gate and the smallest actuator you can to replicate the Korean stick to its fullest extent, but of course I don't have those parts on hand, so I can't say 
if it does or does not. Another reason why I can see somebody getting this kit, they can't fit a Korean stick because if you guys don't know, the Korean sticks are pretty huge. Here, let me show you the, a comparison real quick. So this is the grommet that comes in a Korean stick or at least the 309. This is the Samwa JLF body. Now, if you see there, that grommet fills that whole body almost. And you still have to remember there is the housing, there is the switches that are on the bottom of it and the circle gate at the top. So you can go with the smaller JLF footprint with the V2 kit to emulate that. <laughs> I forgot. Alexa, turn on second plug. Yeah, so it's definitely, uh, I can see somebody who wants that Korean stick feel, but can't because, you know, the limitations of the size, where you can stick with the um, JLF footprint and still get that Korean feel and put it in a five stack that normally wouldn't accommodate a Korean stick. Now, other than that, there's not really too many things I could really jump into. As I said, this is a personal preference. This isn't a, like, a magenta where they're trying to give this, um, technological advancement in a fight stick, or excuse me, a joystick, kind of change the way how you play. This isn't gonna do that. This is definitely a feel thing from your typical JLF standard, I guess. Um, I guess before I get into game, I'm on the rounded gate. And for like example, if you're doing a Hadouken or something, or Aliza's uh, dark wave, it doesn't feel like a true circle gate where you can just ride the gate all the way up. So first we're gonna start off, I'm gonna try to do three perfect wind godfists. If you guys know what a perfect wind godfist is, it's when you hit forward and down forward with the button and you get him, you get Kazuya to say, if you didn't, you'll get that electric. If you do it the perfect wind godfist, you get the, so that's the difference if you guys didn't know. So let's try to hit three of those in a row. Okay, first try, sorry, that was surprising. Okay, you know what, let's see how many I can do before just dropping all the definitely feel when I'm doing the god face, I don't have to slant it downward like you would on a Korean stick where you kind of just drink on that shit as much as you can for a down forward. Compared to this, I kind of feel like I can just ride the gate and pull it down instead of trying to jam it in the corner. Okay, let's do a real combo. Oh wow, so okay, you're returning back to neutral. Sometimes it'll hit the other direction. You can see the inputs on the screen. You can see when I try to run up, but as I hit forward, it went back. And it did it again right now, actually. So I did forward, keep my hand just a little bit closer. It's just, it comes down to how comfortable you are with the JLF. Once you get that to happen a few times online, you just kind of lose confidence. Now, this isn't the fault of the V2. I think it's more of how I play because after I adjusted my hand right after this, I ended up landing this combo right after. So I elaborate on this more at the end of the video. Come on. Okay, we got it. This is the, uh, let me go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna make sure I actually landed that. Okay, so it looks like I did land it, you know, just for good measure. Okay, so I did land it the first time, but you know, just just to confirm. Like the like I said, the V2 is not trying to reinvent the wheel here. It's just trying to redefine a foundation we're already all pretty much familiar with at this point. The JLF is known to be the one of like the most reliable things out there, and they're just trying to provide you with more durable parts that will last over time and a you know a new field for something that we're already accustomed to. All in all, like any other joystick, it is going to take some time to get used to. The V2 kit replicates the Korean experience pretty well, and I can see this being comfortable in the hands of pretty much anybody out there. Unlike other joysticks out there, the JLF is extremely moddable. So if you do feel uncomfortable in any part of the joystick, you could probably mod it to fit more of your personal preference. For example, the problems I was having with the Ricochet, you can fix that with either a stronger spring or a smaller actuator. Or by practicing, you scrub. Or you can also use stronger switches like the Cherry's offerings that the V2 kit actually supports. But in my case, I do like my longer throws. I like to be a little bit more aggressive on the lever and I like my true circle gate. But it's not the fault of the V2 kit. It's more of the difference between a JLF and a Korean stick in my opinion. Or who knows, maybe you just wanted to try something new and be a scrub like me. Thank you guys for joining me again. Peace out. Until next time. Welcome to the revolution.